Hello Reading community. This week we'll share three updates relating to ArtsFest 2022, uh, vaccination clinics, and also Girls Rising, and then shift into some student shout outs. So to start ArtsFest 2022, uh, you'll see here some, some pictures and a flyer uh, from our RPS Arts Department head, Dr. David Mosier. He shares that arts are thriving in the Reading Public Schools. To share with our community the amazing artistry of our students, we'd like to invite you to ArtsFest 2022. Come and experience the arts on display like you've never seen and heard them before. We'll be showcasing selected visual artwork created by our fantastic Reading Public School students from kinder through 12th, curated by our amazing visual arts faculty. Folk dancing will be featured in the Reading Memorial High School Rotunda as you walk in the front doors. Come watch pre-K students from our Rise Preschool and selected classes from each of our elementary schools showcasing the power of music and movement. The RMHS Drama Club will be sharing short play recordings, hosting talks with a techie on lighting, sound, costuming, hair, and makeup, as well as showcasing student monologues. RCTV will be sharing student-created videos via the flat screens all down the RMHS Main Street. Be inspired with musical performances in the Reading Memorial High School Performing Arts Center, featuring combinations of our middle school choirs, bands, and jazz bands, as well as our high school mixed chorus, a cappella groups, symphonic band, stage band, and jazz ensemble. We'll even be featuring pieces that combine middle and high school groups for an incredibly awe-inspiring sonic experience. You'll not want to miss this amazing opportunity to see Reading Arts in action. The festivities are taking place at Reading Memorial High School on Tuesday, April 12th and Wednesday, April 13th from 5 to 8 p.m. Can't wait to see you there. Uh, thank you for Dr. Mosier for all of his leadership and organization in getting this event off the ground. Uh, we're really excited to see everyone there. Shifting gears into vaccination clinics, you'll see a link in the written updates this week to sign up for uh, the upcoming vaccination clinic, which will be held at the Coolidge Middle School on April 29th from 2 to 4 p.m. And we encourage all of our students and staff to take advantage of this opportunity. And for our last update, the RMHS Girls Rising Club will be showcasing a showing of the Girls Rising documentary at RCTV this week. I'll pause here to show a quick 30 second clip updating uh, this event. Shifting to some student shout outs. Uh, first, these first two are arts related. Uh, the first one, March is Youth Art Month. So you'll see some photos updated here and some student artwork. As part of the National Celebration of Art Education Pre-K through 12, the Massachusetts Art Education Association has sponsored a statewide virtual exhibit. This year, there are over 700 student works of art submitted by 125 art educators representing 71 communities. The exhibit also spotlights MAEA President's Choice Selection in which one of our own students, Birch Meadows student Danny Bruno Connell, is featured. So the exhibit can be found online through the link included in the written newsletter. So the art like, as you'll see, the artwork is organized in the galleries alphabetically by city and town. And as you explore these, we encourage you to look at the one that relates to Reading, and also it allows you to write a fan letter to the artist to let them know that you enjoyed their work. We'd like to give a special congratulations to the following students who you can find their work online. In grade eight, Cameron and Tucker, Grade seven, William and Nyla, um, and Michael. Grade six, Luke. Grade five, Danny, Lincoln, Audrey, Esme, Sam, and Leah. Grade four, Megan, Paige. Grade three, Joao, Pedro. Uh, grade two, Ellie. And grade one, Evie and Lulette. So congratulations to all of those students who've been recognized. We hope you enjoy their work and take the time to write them a fan note. Also an art update, uh, recently there was a State Youth Art Month flag contest. So you'll see here two flags shown. Two of our young Reading artists won the Statewide Youth Art Flag Month contest this year. The contest was open to all K-12 students in Mass and the theme was Art Connects Us. Students needed to express the theme in their work and include a reference to Massachusetts. The three to five winner was A.V. Tong and the K-2 winner was second grader Mary Hoban. So as you see, their, their work here showcases their flag. So congratulations to those two students. 
And to close, we'd like to give a shout out to a Joshua Eaton fifth grader, um, Maria Marino. So Maria is on pace and is uh, seeking to set the Guinness Book of World Records for the new amount of highest books, uh, amount of books read in one year. So currently she's read 144 books. You will see the list and the titles of the books that she's read. Uh, not only is she doing this with the hope of breaking the record, she is doing this out of her love for reading too. So a huge congratulations to Maria and we wish you the best of luck as you continue to go for this record. We hope everyone had a great week. Enjoy the weekend. Go Rockets.